Hello and welcome back to this week's episode of From Zero to Hero, the Malware Reverse Engineering and Threat Intelligence course by myself and Vitalik Ramez. This week we're going to be covering common malware injection techniques and how to recognize implementations inside of samples. So we're going to be looking at what exactly is injection and why it's so important to understand. We're going to be looking at self-injection, which is most commonly used by malware unpackers. And then next we're going to cover process injection. So we're going to be looking at Azeroth, which uses write process memory in order to inject code into a process. And then we're going to be looking at Gootkit, which uses NT map view of section to inject a DLL into a running browser. From there, we're going to move on to APC injection. And in this case, we're going to focus on ISFB, which uses PowerShell to perform APC injection in order to execute the final stage and essentially persist on the system. And then finally, we're going to be moving on to hooking. And this is actually quite a special case because Iced ID or BokBok uses a special injection mechanism through hooking two different API calls. And that allows it to execute code inside of a running SVC host process.